Hi everyone, today I'll be playing with some e.l.f. makeup and I'm going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. I have some new products here that I want to show you guys and I haven't tested out. I have an eyeshadow palette by e.l.f. here, so let's get started. So if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and like this video and let's get it right into the video. So for brows, I actually already done my brows with the Refi Brow Gel. I do have the e.l.f. Brow Gel right here, but I forgot to use it today. So I wanted to tell you that I'm using a different one. This is a clear brow gel like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a beautiful brow gel. I have no complaints about it. It's just that, you know, I hate using a spoolie and then you have to wash the spoolie. So probably it's best to use this with those disposable spoolies. Now let's go for primer. I haven't used this one in a while. It's so hot here today. So I have this primer by e.l.f. But the pump is just not working. Like it's kind of locked. So I'm going to use a different one. I have two here. I have the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, which is this white pearlescent one. Then I have this e.l.f. Blemish Fighting Putty Primer, which is this green one. So I think I'm going to use this green one. We're going we're gonna to use a like a glowing filter on the skin. So I don't want to have too much glowiness. Okay, so this is this matcha green type of primer. Oh, I think I picked up too much. You could be hearing Kona down here panting. She's really hot, but she just likes to hang out with me here. And I can't turn the fan on because then it will be too loud for the video. So this blended in very nicely, very smoothly. It's very hydrating feeling. It doesn't leave a green cast or anything like that. So I haven't used it in a while. So this is the e.l.f. Putty Primer, the blemish fighting one. Now for the foundation, I have this new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have a review on this on my channel and spoiler alert, I am loving it so much. It's not a foundation, but it does provide enough coverage that you can just use this throughout the day. And you don't need to add any foundation. So I have been using this for the past week all by itself, even just going into work, wearing a mask, and the it looks just beautiful on the face. So I should have put my hair up. I'm gonna blend it with a brush. So I'm gonna use a Moda brush. You can use it with a sponge, you can use your fingers with it, but I, I don't like to use my fingers at all when I blend any type of foundation or any type of primer that has a tint to it. Just don't like that feeling on my fingers, on my hands. So I always like to use a brush and I'm gonna bring this on my eyelids as well. Look how beautiful the skin looks. So you can add a little bit more if you need to. That was too much. So it's good to just push it into the skin. And it provides this nice glow and coverage to the face. I love it. This is such a quick look to create. When you're in a rush, all you need is to just add this. And it just gives your skin a little bit of coverage and a little bit more health. So if you want, you can go in with the sponge and push everything in. This is not a must because the brush did everything. But let's move on to a um, concealer. So I haven't used this one in a while. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Whitening Concealer. And it's this, this one here that comes with, it looks like a pen. So it has a brush on one end, but it has a clicker on the other. And the product comes out this way. I wonder if I should use it. I'm going to use it on my eyes too. Okay, so for this, I'm going to use a sponge. It reminds me of the Kosas concealer, not the color, because the Kosas concealers are a little bit more on the yellow side. But the brightening, the very light formula, and the um, very dewy, creamy-like formula as well. It is very light. Provides enough coverage, but again, it's just a brightening concealer. It's not a high coverage concealer, so keep that in mind. If you do want to cover a little bit more under the eye area, you do need a different concealer. Oh, I forgot to include this. This, guys, the e.l.f. powder. This is the Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Fair Light. This is a dupe for the... 
uh, Pat McGrath one fetish under eye powder that I always use in my videos I love this powder and I'm just gonna use this to powder underneath my eye area and the eyelid where we apply the concealer and that's it I'm not gonna apply all over my face so I'm gonna use a Mora Pro brush what is this called this is the highlight and glow brush and I'm just gonna powder underneath here where we put the concealer again with this elf halo glow pro filter you really don't need to powder you really don't need to add a concealer but for the sake of the video because I'm doing a full face of elf products I am um, adding this powder to show you how blurring how it's very lightweight and it's not drying you don't get that tightening feeling I just love it I just bought this this is the elf putty bronzer now keep in mind a lot of people don't know where to find the actual name of this products let me zoom you guys a little bit more in so you guys can see but a friend here on YouTube her name is Julia from Julia's Beauty she had told me that if you guys can look very closely there's a see-through sticker with the actual name of the shade of the product right here so now we know this is in the shade 10 lines it's the elf putty bronzer i have used it before and i'm loving it i'm gonna apply it with a co beauty brush it's a small slanted brush this is a very nice shade you see that that looks beautiful I would love to hear from you guys what is your most favorite elf product so far I don't know yet I don't have an elf um, mascara that's the only thing I don't have but we're gonna use a drugstore mascara oh, I can't stop adding bronzer so this is very beginner friendly you can see it gives it that nice caramel type of look so it's very easy to blend it doesn't lift up the foundation I've heard mixed reviews on this maybe I don't know I don't know how it will last throughout the day but I know that it's not muddy and it's very um, creamy but not creamy to the point where it just disappears into your skin I don't know I just I'm loving this so much and you can also use this to put all over your eyelid but I'm not gonna do that because I have an eyeshadow palette right here but this is a quick tip like in the morning before work I just use this cream bronzer with the same brush and just apply it all over the eyelids it looks so beautiful you look like a bronzed goddess with this or with any type of cream bronzer if you apply it over your eyelids I've used this technique on my trip this summer and I don't know it just looked so pretty so simple yet so beautiful so let's move on to a blush now I have a new blush by elf and these are the luminous putty blushes I have not opened this one yet and I don't know let's see the shade if it says on this one Barbados right here so the shade is right here but let's see let's open it up here so again same packaging as the other blushes this is just a luminous blush and the shade here keep in mind thanks to julia it's right there it's very interesting i've never noticed the see-through sticker there with the name of it Ooh, look at this it's so pretty very nice shade it's that nice sun-kissed type of blush with a little bit of peach so let's use the same brush might as well no need to make another one dirty I'm not gonna apply any highlighter because this glow filter is already a highlighter in itself okay so let's see it looks beautiful it's not very pigmented so don't be scared you know when you press in the um, brush in the tower 28 ones those are super pigmented but in this one you can go a lot and you can see you get this nice pigment so I'm gonna go over my nose and blend all over my cheeks 
and this is beautiful i am loving this for day to day that nice natural makeup look i think these blushes are nice let me see no it didn't lift up the foundation and because it has that argan oil in it and vitamin e it seems very hydrating look how beautiful the skin looks so if you want to get rid of any sharp lines you can always go with your sponge and blend everything so that you don't see any lines where the blush ends okay so I will give you my final thoughts at the end and tell you what I love the most. Now for, let's see, let's move on to eyes. For eyes, when I placed an order off of the e.l.f. website, I spent a certain amount of money and they sent me in for free without having to pay for it, this beautiful palette. Okay, so this palette, this is the Bite Side Eyeshadow Cream and Sugar Palette. Let's see. You know what this reminds me of? This is so difficult. Oh, it says peel here. Ah, yeah, yeah. I just gotta read the instructions, right? But this palette reminds me of the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. And let me show you how they look. Don't they look the same? This is like a dupe for the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna swatch them to see the formula. Ooh. Okay, here they are. Pen is bigger in this one. You only have four shades in here and you have five in this one. Okay, so here's a guessing game for you guys. Which one is the e.l.f. palette and which one is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude palette? Did you guys guess? I'll give you two more seconds. One and two. This is the, let me see. Yes, this is the e.l.f. palette. This is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. Isn't this crazy? The only difference is this lighter shade in the Natasha Denona is darker than the e.l.f. But this were so creamy. I normally don't like drugstore eyeshadow. I always seem to, like when I buy an eyeshadow palette, I expect that all of the colors in it perform to my standards, to what I like. And sometimes with drugstore, some perform really nice and some not so nice. But this one is just perfect. It's gonna be so good for traveling, all you need. Let's go ahead and create a look with this one. And I'm gonna use the shadow right here, which is the lightest one, with a blinked brush, B3, and just put it as a transition shade here. Very similar to my eye color. And now with the same brush, we're gonna go into this dark shade and kind of add it into the crease and outer corner. So it's very nice, it blended very easily. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. This is really pretty. Really beautiful. Now I'm gonna go in with this Luxie eye sh shading brush and go into this dark shade again and just place it in the outer corner. I'm gonna use all the shades. I'm gonna go in with a BH Cosmetics number eight brush, which is this fluffy brush and kind of blend the outer corner here a bit. so beautiful so easy to use okay so that looks beautiful and i'm gonna go in with this shade right here which is the darker of the sparkly ones i'm gonna use my finger and just place this in the middle only Ooh. it's like a nice gold shimmery shade I use a clean finger and kind of try blend those shades together so you don't see like a line in between them. And I'm going to clean my finger and I'm going to go with the light shimmery shade. Ooh. And then place it in the inner corner. I think a little bit goes a long way. With the same finger we can do the other eye. Wow. Imagine if you wet this shade. It's going to look like amazing on your eye 
Now this palette is stunning. I'm loving this palette. I was not expecting such great formula from this and there's no fallout. I don't see any fallout on my face, especially from those dark shades. Let's get a clean brush. This is a Morphe M441 brush and kind of soften the edges here. Okay, so let's do the bottom lash line and for the bottom lash line, so I'm going to choose this Morphe angled like a line type of brush. I'm going to go into this dark shade and just add it on the bottom here. But I think I'm only going to I'm going to stop in the middle of my eye, so I only want to add it here. Maybe I should use this here too, closer to the lash line here too, just for the inner corner. I mean for the outer corner, just like that. That looks so, so pretty. Now I have uh, by e.l.f. if I can find them here. Oh, you know what I want? I want like a nice line at the top with this gold. <gasps> I think that's going to look pretty. Yes, okay, so I'm going to use this Luxie eyeliner brush which is like this pointy thing and I'm gonna touch this gold and I want to do something above the line here I don't know how this actually looks just wanted to add this gold above my crease Okay, I don't know what you guys think. Let me know down below if you like this look. It's very interesting. These shimmers are very hard to work with, so just keep that in mind. But I'm going to go ahead right now and apply mascara. I'm going to use my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Enjoy this intermission, and I will be right back. Okay, so what do you guys think? How does it look? Um, you know what? Not a big fan of that gold. Would love to hear your thoughts, but I wanted to try something different and I didn't want to just take the makeup off. I want it to be truthful so you guys can see that, you know, sometimes not you don't like everything all the time. But, you know, we're going to leave it for now because I'm not going to remove this. I wanted you guys to see it. And I think it's just... I don't know, something different than I normally do, but that's okay. So let's move on to lips. I bought these two lips by Elves. These are lip stains and you can see the shades in the back. One is more orange, one is more um, purple pink. I'm gonna swatch them here for you so you guys can see. Uh, this is the purple one, so pretty. And here is the orange one. So these are more like lip stains than lipsticks and they're just very beautiful on the lips. But today I'm going to try something new and I'm going to try this Ride or Die lip balm and see if it has any tint to it. And this is a uh, in the shade Tough Cookie. So let's open it up. It kind of reminds me um, of those... Um, blushes by uh, Glossier and um, Colourpop. You can see the packaging is very similar but let's try it out and see. It does. Okay so it has a very nice very nice natural pink tint. Look at that. Okay so I'm gonna apply it with my finger I guess. It's very thick formula. Hmm very hydrating and the formula is quite thick. I'm loving this. It, the shade is just perfect. I love this color. Okay, let me take my hair down now. So you can see the, the stains are still there. They don't come off very easily. But anyways, let's get into my final thoughts here. Let me gather my thoughts here and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so let's talk about... Okay, here. 
This is so cute. All I love how the packaging looks very similar in the brow, in the bronzer and everything. Okay, so let me start with what I recommend from e.l.f., okay? Let's start with how we applied it on the face. So I definitely recommend the e.l.f. Lemish Fighting Putty Primer. This is that matcha green one. This is perfect for if you have blemishes. It does have salicylic acid, I believe, in it. Oh, there you go. Again, it has the little see-through sticker right here. Yeah, so this is definitely a very nice putty primer. It is very similar to the pearlescent one, the light one here. Uh, they are both come in putties, but this one, uh, I think, help fights acne. Uh, I went with this one because I thought that this is a little bit too luminous when I apply uh, another luminous foundation. So that's why I went with this one. Definitely recommend it. Let's move on to the e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter. You guys know how much I love this. This is such a beautiful product. You get a lot of product in here. A little goes a long way and it covers the whole face. It gives it a very nice healthy glow coverage. It's obviously not a coverage, like high coverage foundation. However, for those fast days, for those hot summery days, even winter if you want, a little bit of this goes a long way and you have a nice glass skin like face. I just, I love it so much and I've been wearing this, like I haven't been wearing my foundations that I've that I bought so that's how much I love this now let's move on to the concealer the concealer is the elf flawless brightening concealer I love this one I'm gonna link all these products below this is a very it's not a high coverage concealer but it's similar to the Kosas one it has a little bit of peach in it so it helps cover those dark circles if you have any but it's a very lightweight and very creamy and healthy looking so i love this one now this is a dupe for the pat mcgrath one this is the elf powdered in the shade fair light this powder is so fine and it's not like look at that that's the powder this is a beautiful powder to use all over the face, underneath the eye area. It doesn't dry up your skin. A little goes a long way and I just love it. Very affordable. Now let's move on. Oh, here's the brow putty. Love this one. It just does its job. A little goes a long way again. If you put too much, it could become flaky, just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I think I prefer this one a little bit more than the Anastasia. I don't know. I have to keep playing with them because sometimes I put too much, sometimes too little. And when I put too little, the brows fall. When I put too much, it becomes flaky. So you have to be very careful how much product you use. So this is an okay product. I still love it and I still recommend it. Now, this is the bronzer. I heard mixed reviews on this. So I wanted to try it for myself. I love this bronzer. It is very easy to travel with and the opening is enough for a sponge or a brush to go in. And the way it applies on the face, it's very um, easy to use. It blends into the skin and it just does not disappear into the skin. It leaves you with this nice bronzy look and contour and it's just it's a beautiful beautiful shade i love the shade and again this shade is 10 lines and the elf luminous putty blush i have others other putty blushes by elf and this is in the shade barbados and this is a beautiful shade as you can see it's a very brick color type of blush it blended beautifully very similar to the tower 28 except tower 28 are a little bit more pigmented when you dip in your brush you get a lot of pigment right away this you can just you can't make a mistake you can just keep dipping and applying it doesn't lift up the foundation i love this blush and it's very like you don't even need a highlighter using this blush and the halo pro filter glow i think it's just stunning i love this shade now the um, elf glossy lip stains which are the shades right here the orange one and the purple one they look very beautiful they do provide some stain to the lips it's they're very light so it's not like you get this big amount of product 
very colorful and very deep rich shades it's just very natural so keep in mind that these are more natural lip stains not very super pigmented but they do stain your lips in a more natural way and i love them this is a big surprise this lip balm i love that it has a little bit of tint provides moisture this is a i'm gonna buy probably another one for my purse i love this now here is something that i did not expect to work the way it expected and this is the eyeshadow palette in the shade this is the bite size eyeshadow in the shade cream and sugar i love this i still have it on my hand this is the elf one and this is the natasha denona mini nude palette they are so similar so similar so if you don't want to invest in this this was like 33 dollars canadian i think then go get this one you won't be disappointed this is a must because it's anyone can use this it's so beautiful it's gonna be on my desk i'll be using it daily and the shades are stunning and this shade right here i have it in the inner corner as well and i love it now something that i don't recommend by elf are these glittery ones i know that they're a dupe I did a video on it. I compared them to the Stila one. Now my Stila one is drying up. But they are, I think I like this one here more than this one. And I have a blue one as well. Um, I'll show you why. They are very glittery. And they dry fast. So you have to move fast. They feel, you see, they swatch really nice. So here they are. They swatch really nice. But when you apply it to the eyelid, they become chunky. But they're not chunky to make your eye feel like it's heavy or you feel the crunchiness of the eyeshadow there. It's they're just more harder to work with because the formula is more thick. Again, I had them for a while, this one. This is in the shade 24 karat gold. And this is in the shade flirty birdie, just in case you're wondering. But you can see it was difficult for me to create a nice gold arch on my eyelid. It took me a little bit of time. So um, for the reason that they're not very beginner friendly and they have a little bit more chunky glitters, these are my least favorite by e.l.f. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful and you guys liked this full face of e.l.f. I am loving everything. And if you did, let me know down below what you guys think of this eye look um, and that golden arch. I tried my best, but you know, wanted to try something different. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and like this video. It would help me out so much. Make sure you check out my other videos. I'm gonna link at the end of this one. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Always remember to be yourself and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.